Well, what's up, movie nerds? Matt Corey, the movie nerd, here with my review of Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Now, there will be spoilers in this review, so just be aware. In Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, Doctor Strange takes us on an adventure through the multiverse to save a teenager with special powers named America Chavez from Wanda Maximoff, also the Scarlet Witch who is played by Elizabeth Olsen. And I have to say, this is quite a wild ride and there are many unexpected turns, many things that will make you be like, oh my, and many things that you will just walk away with shock and surprise. And uh, there's even zombies in this movie. I mean, it's just a great ride all around. It's a lot of fun and um, you know, there's things like uh, the Illuminati, which is composed of uh, various superheroes from the Marvel Universe. And uh, Doctor Strange comes into contact with them. And, um, you know, on his journey here through the multiverse. And um, it's just, uh, you know, there's, <laughs> there's so many elements that make it. It's a very detailed movie. You know, it's not really confusing, but it's very detailed. And you really have to pay attention as you're watching this movie to what's going on to get uh, everything that's happening in this movie and to really enjoy the full experience. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thought it was a fantastic movie. Um, you know, acting is great. Elizabeth Olsen was great. Benedict Cumberbatch was great as always. And, um, you know, it was very believable when he ran into multiple versions of himself in the multiverse, you know, as he was interacting with them, you know, it didn't seem like it was just a duplicate of Benedict Cumberbatch sitting there talking to one another, you know, two, uh, two twins or anything like that. It really seemed believable. And I thought they did a really good job there. And, um, the zombie version of Doctor Strange was really, <laughs> was really awesome and, re and really, uh, you know, something cool to see. It was a cool element of the movie, you know, and, um, you know, the, the, when he fights the octopus too, that was really, that was really awesome. The big old octopus at the beginning of the movie with the crazy eyeball doing different things, you know, that was a lot of fun. And, um, you know, they, they revisited some things like, um, his, uh, relationship with Christine and, um, you know, that was, there were some really, uh, you know, touching moments there, um, that really added to the film. And, um, you know, I just thought all around that everything was, was well, it was well put together. It was just really a, um, it was just a well-constructed film, you know, with um, a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of diversity, a lot of uh, excitement and action, you know, and a lot of drama. And, you know, um, it's just something that, you know, you expect from a Marvel film. And Sam Raimi did a great job directing this movie. He, um, he really went above and beyond and uh, has done an awesome job with some Marvel films in the past, you know, and this one in particular, he did a great job. And, um, you know, I just thought that uh, overall, it was really, um, it was really different than any Marvel film I think I've ever seen. Um, with the third eye was really made it very interesting. The, Illuminati third eye and how about at that very end where Doctor Strange jumps back at the very end of the movie and screams and the third eye pops out of his head. <laughs> you know, that was uh, that was a really interesting element to the movie and um, really setting things up there with the post credit scene for um, the next Doctor Strange and what's going to happen, you know, and um, I thought it was really cool, you know, to see Mr. Fantastic and um, Charles Xavier in the movie, you know, as part of the Illuminati and uh, really, um, 
was just interesting that uh, they were saying that Doctor Strange didn't actually help to defeat Thanos, you know, but he was, but when he was, uh, when uh, in the, uh, in the Avengers, when he was uh, uh, in the Avengers uh, Endgame, he actually created a, uh, a something in the multiverse that opened it up and caused uh, a problem and so they had to execute him and I thought oh that's that's really interesting that's sort of a twist in the movie so that was a really cool little twist you know and um, I think there was just there were a number of little twists in the movie that really made it cool and really uh, caused us to look and say man this is this is um, a little deeper than just your ordinary uh, superhero action film, you know, and it's got a little bit more uh, to the plot and to the story. You know, the plot was excellent and um, really made for a great time at the theaters. So that's my uh, short little quick review on Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, and I give it two thumbs up. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. And uh, I will see you next time with uh, more movie reviews, trailer reactions, and movie news on The Movie Nerd.